Hello Saddlers fans and welcome back to Saddlers TV, where over the duration of the season we'll be joined by the players and the manager for exclusive one-to-one -one interviews. Today we've been joined by Captain George Dobson, who will be discussing the fantastic start that the club have had to the season. Thanks for joining us today, no George. Worries. So we'll just start by looking at the positive start that the club's had to the season. Just why do you think it's so different this year? Um, it's been the mentality, I'd say. Um, the way we've started, the way the team's fighting for each other, as you can see from the performances, it's just we have so much more confidence in each other that we are good enough to win games and we're so confident going into every single game we play that we're as good, if not better, than the opposition we're facing. And when you're playing like that, it, the results come. And I think a positive way to look at this would be that the influence that the managers had on you as players and yourself. What has Dean brought into the team? What is his philosophy like when you're on the training ground? Um, he's just brought a lot of structure to the club. Um, we, we, we conceded a lot of goals last season, uh, very sloppily at times, and we were just making basic errors that were costing us. And then at the other end, we just wasn't scoring enough goals, whereas we're, we're, we're blocking shots, we're putting our bodies on the line for the team but then we've got the quality at the other end um, to score goals to outscore opponents and I think that's been the the big difference we're we're scoring more goals and we're conceding less and if you're putting two and two together that obviously makes a, a start for a a good team and it, and you say about the goals there, the, the new lads that have come in, especially the, the three strikers, Josh Gordon, Morgan Ferrier, Randy Cook, they've, they've all contributed to the team, they've scored 10 goals between them. How reassuring is it for you as midfielders and as a backline really to know that if you're going to create chances for them, they're, they're going to score goals for you? Yeah, obviously last season we, we just didn't score enough goals. Um, but bringing in obviously the three strikers, then Zelli, uh, Gino, obviously Kieran, all, all scoring goals, it just makes such a difference and so much easier for, say, me and Ozzy in the middle of the park. We're, um, we know if we give it to them, they're going to make something happen. And at times last season, that just didn't quite happen. So um, we're, we're just so confident in each other's ability. Um, we put faith in each other and put pressure on each other as well. Um, and it's, yeah, it's just really paying off at the minute. And there is a dynamic there that, that is different from last season. The, the formations you can play now, we've seen at Barnsley, you changed it up. Does that give you the extra freedom, like, like we said, when we moved to a three in the middle, one of you was able to sit, the two of you were able to push. Does that allow you to express yourself more as a player? Yeah, definitely. In a 4-4-2, in, in a it's obviously more structured, more rigid, because you're playing in a two in there and it's you've got four attacking players on the pitch so uh, you stick to your formation a bit more but with the three obviously it gives you that extra player um, but I think we've adapted well to both formations obviously we went to Barnsley who were favourites for the league alongside Sunderland and got a point and could have easily nicked the game so we're as a team we're comfortable in playing as a 4-4-2, 4-3-3 or any other formation that we we might use in the future um, and we're just adapting to them and getting better each each time we play. And it's a credit to the gaffer there as well, really, to, that he's brought in the players who are, who are willing to change the systems. If you look, Andy Cook's been dropped out a couple of times, but he's come back and he's made the impact. Josh Gordon's been brought in and he's played very well. We've got two assists at the weekend against Oxford. It's a credit to show that they can adapt to, to life in higher football, really. Yeah, definitely. Yes, you've... With, with football clubs, you've got to have competition. If you don't have competition for places, then that's where you'll go wrong. Because if everyone knows every week you're going to play, you've got to have people pushing you on to think, if I don't play well today, I might not be in the team next week. So that's what we've got good at the minute. We've got players in every position that can that has competition and knows that their shirt's up for grabs. So. That's where we're, we're doing really well and everyone's fighting for their place in the team and I think the fans can see that on a Saturday how much we're giving uh, for the club um, to, to get the results. And the results have, have been coming really this season. We, we touched on it earlier, five away wins already this season. That's as, the same amount that we, 
we totaled up last season. Is, is something changed in the group dynamic really? We've had 11 players brought in uh, in the closed season. Does, does it change during pre-season? Does everybody click automatically? Yeah, it was, it was a bit of a weird one really because obviously not many of the new players didn't come in until late in pre-season. So uh, I think we only had four or five that come in while pre-season was going on. Um, but as soon as the, the lads come in just before the first game, they adapted straight away to the team. Um, they fit into the group well. And just from then on, we've, we've just gone into every game with such confidence, thinking that we can win. And uh, that confidence is something that we didn't quite have last season. And now we've got it, we're embracing it and we're really trying to kick on and just, just taking each game at its times, but obviously having the confidence as well to think, let's see where we can take it. I think it was something that, that Nicky Devlin said after the, the Doncaster defeat was that last year the team almost seemed to accept defeat, whereas this year it's something that's, that hasn't been a regular occurrence because obviously the Doncaster game is the only one that we've lost in, in 90 minutes. Is that something that echoes throughout the team there isn't an acceptance this year yeah definitely fans. when we um, lost the game against Doncaster you can see of course what happened on the pitch we we lost let our emotions get the better of us but it just showed how much we cared um, and to lose that game even though that's our first loss of the season it, it really hurt us as a team so then to bounce back as well as we did to then next game go away from home and get another win I think that shows the, how strong we are and how together we are to, to be able to bounce back like that after such a heavy defeat. So, that, that, yeah, we're, that is something that is good. I think the Doncaster game was almost a bit of a, a reality check to say that if you're not at your best this, in this league, teams will come at you and they will punish you for not taking your chances. Yeah, Doncaster... It, 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 was a, it was a strange game because obviously we did go 1-0 one, one up probably against the run of play because we didn't start well. Um, and then that just continued the whole game. We just didn't get to the, the energy, to the hard work, to, to what we'd been at for every other game where we'd been so successful. And from that game, we now know if we, if we come off it, teams will pick us off. But we know it when we are on it that teams will find it hard to live with us. Uh, we're going to keep trying to prove that every game um, to pick up as many points as possible and make sure that instead of last year, we're looking up the table instead of below. And I think it was something that Morgan Ferrier said after the Oxford win, was that the squad at the moment are thriving off being underdogs. Is that something that, that you're thriving off personally as well? Yeah, of course. We're a, we're a team that's, if you look at the other teams in the league, we've got uh, such a smaller budget than any of them um, but we we've got players who are young hungry to to succeed to to play for the football club and to see as to see how well we can do as a team because we obviously have our faith in each other but if you're from outsiders looking in you're looking at Walsall and you might be thinking this is a game we think we can win but we'll be thinking in ourselves we'll be confident and we know that on our day we can beat anyone. So we're, we're going to continue to do that and continue to put, put pressure on ourselves, but embrace being underdogs and uh, embrace, yeah, just trying to win as many games as we can. I think that's something that, that teams won't quite see for that aren't at the training ground or at the stadium every day. The atmosphere at the moment within the group is just something that it's electric to be around really, isn't it? And to be in... Yeah, it's, winning football games brings happiness for, for any group, but we're just, we're just loving playing for each other. and it, it, It's nice in a way that everyone gets on so well. Um, all the boys literally like, are literally like family in a way that they look out for each other. Like we will do stuff together outside of football. Like we're, we're a really tight-knit group. So we're just loving coming into football every day. Playing football is, is no better job. Um, and especially when you're winning games and sitting in the playoffs at the minute, 
it's it's obviously a great start to the season but then on the other hand we know it's just the start and th th I think that's a good thing we know how hard we need to carry on working if we're gonna be a good team. And you talk about hard work there is that something that manager Dean Keats has installed in you as, as players this year to work hard for the shirt because he wanted to give the the town a club to be happy with and I think it's fair to say so far this season they have been happy with what yeah. they've seen. We've, uh, he has installed that, he's installed hard work and he's installed uh, the winning element of everything we do in training it's got to be about winning and I think that's so important sometimes you get taken away from the winning side but realistically the reason you play football is to win football games and uh, he's really installed that into us and every training session every practice game and every game we we want to win and and that's what i think has been one of the major reasons why we've been successful so far and do you think it's his mentality as a manager that rubs off on younger players because you are such a young squad do you think it helps that you are young because everybody wants to learn yeah of course when when you're young you, you're you're hungry you, you're trying to make yourself the best player you can possibly be obviously we still have a few experienced players but we're obviously a young team who's just enjoying playing their football on a saturday and enjoying trying to win as many games as they can whereas like you you, you do get teams that sometimes go through the motions that they, they have players who aren't as hungry as we maybe are and that that's something that we're just going to continue to try to do just be hungry and win football games because that that's a formula that will only bring success and speaking of enjoyment the the manager has has made you the captain of the team with with Adam Chambers being out injured at the moment is that something that you're relishing a chance to 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 lead the team out every week yeah for for, for any player for the gaffer to give you that responsibility is, of course, an honour. Um, I feel like um, it gives you an extra few percent to feel like you need to be leading by example on the pitch, which then I feel like makes me play better. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy captain in the team at the minute. I'm, I'm really enjoying the, uh, the whole process of it. And... Uh, just yeah I'm just obviously so uh, thankful for the gaffer for putting the faith in me and you say you find that extra percent I think if we look back to the Barnsley game where we were one nil down we were up against it a little bit but then in the 89th minute you come up with an, an extra five ten percent that gets you to the edge of the box that allows you to pass it to Cookie and then Cookie finishes it does it does it help you knowing that you've got that extra bit of percentage that maybe the the players who haven't got it on the pitch will see that oh actually I need to give that little bit more as well yeah everyone everyone knows that they've got a, everyone knows they've got that extra couple percent in them and it, it's just about getting it out um, like because for Barnsley for me wasn't my best personal performance but if what I've always been told since younger if it's not going quite right with the ball you you can't ever stop your effort that's just you're given so I know if I'm not playing my best game, but if I still make that run forward and get there, you, 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 your footballing ability doesn't go just because you're having a bad game. Um, so obviously, yeah, I, I bust a gut to get forward, got the ball and luckily played it to Cookie, who scored. And yeah, it was always, that was a great moment for, uh, for us as a team and as a, the fans. It was a yeah, really special moment. You talk about the fans there. That, that they've gradually been coming back to the home games. They've been following following you away quite well. I mean, at Oxford there was nearly seven hundred fans yeah. there. Does it give you again that extra little bit of percentage when you can hear the fans at Oxford? They outsung yeah. five and a half thousand home fans. It just it makes your life a little bit better on the pitch when they're there. No, yeah. And to be fair to the fans at at Oxford, they were brilliant. They. They have been all season so far, like with Scunthorpe, Wimbledon, um, Rochdale. They've they've travelled in their numbers, numbers, and we can only thank them for that. And I hope they continue to do that, because um, obviously the moments we've had after the game, celebrating with them, 
uh, have been really special moments that all the boys have uh, enjoyed being part of and obviously I'd hope the fans have as well so we're, we're enjoying coming away from home because we know that the fans are coming in their numbers and we're wanting to put a big performance on for them and so far we've we've done that in every game so we're gonna uh, hope they keep coming in their numbers and then we'll hopefully keep putting the performances in. And you talk about breaking forward I think one thing that we're, we're going to have to touch upon is that the goal last year I think it's gone down in, in folklore in, in Warsaw history really just talk us through what it meant for you as a player because I think you've improved as a player since that moment yeah no definitely that the, the confidence for me that's come since then has been unbelievable it, it's mad in a way how one moment can kick you on so much just by scoring that goal and the whole history that's now behind it, it just gives me that extra confidence to bring into this season. And so far this season, I think I have, and it has definitely improved me as a player. So um, I, I, obviously it was a special moment. It was, for me, the, the best two, three minutes I've ever had in football and I'll might not ever have a better moment so um, uh, yeah I look back at it I watch the video on my phone quite a lot but it's a it is a really special moment I think one thing we touched upon earlier was the goals that have come from around the team if we look we've got uh, goals from midfield we, we've even got a, a superb free kick from Luke Lee at the, the start of the season against Plymouth is it something that you're looking to add more to your game yeah i I, I do need to hopefully add a few goals. Obviously, the way we're playing with like more of a two in midfield is it's hard to score a lot of goals. But if if I could get uh, five, that, that's what I'm aiming for. Obviously, still on zero. But if I can get to five, that that's the sort of number I think that I should be contributing to the team. I think you've given yourself a bit more of a realistic target there. We spoke to Jack Fitzwater earlier in the season and he wanted between eight and ten goals. Uh, so I think got you, no chance. I think you've gone for the more realistic. Yeah, he's got no chance. But thanks for, for joining us today. That's everything. We'd like to thank George for, for joining us as well. Um, we'll be back in a couple of weeks' time when we'll be joined, hopefully, by the manager. Uh, see you then. <laughs>